an unusual company i wish it was dark and indistinct i tried to close my eyes from seeing whatever i was in, i was seeing in front of me i felt an immeasurable pressure trying to keep my eyes peeled open despite my fear of never waking up i gave up i didn't know i was holding my breath until i let out a painful gasp I had to touch my eyes to check if they were open or if I was just falling into my mouth's pious place, the beloved abyss. I heard a deep hiss from the surroundings, but I didn't dare move a muscle, afraid of a more desolate creature waiting to suck me in, like a prey to feed on, a soul to latch onto. I felt a whoosh of air in front of me as I gripped my tattered neck gown in both my hands on sides, and my lips quivered in fear. All of a sudden someone gripped my head with their hands there or it's I could sense no amount of heat or flesh from the touch while fear clutched around my heart like a glove letting a whisper or a whimper of pain escape past my trembling lips I could feel tears flowing down my face before I could even beg to be released their their, their grip tightened around my head I will see you soon Felia Did I hear that? Swiftly turning my head both ways, I tossed my notepad on the floor. Forgetting the presence of my lover, I shifted to check around the heavy comforters. Placing a hand against my racing heart, my skin felt damp despite the chillness from the air conditioner. After mumbling something in his sleep day state, he sat up with a jolt. "Hey, did you have another nightmare?" he asked gently. I didn't even have to answer. He just wrapped his sturdy arms around me and sighed. I felt my heart slow down and leaned my head on his shoulder with one of my hands curled around him. Do you want to share the gory details? I could hear him smirk. I just snuggled closer, waiting for his scent to overwhelm my senses, while softly shaking my head for his question. I remember the day he witnessed my first nightmare. He didn't freak out or run like his tail was on fire like everyone else. He just folded me into his embrace just like today. But there was always a voice in my head asking the most complex yet logical questions. The most disturbing one was, don't they say that if your man is everything you were ever wanted, he probably buried something in his garden. Nah, he's too good to be true, but too bad he's mine. I comforted myself. Filia me. I felt a vibration under my fingertips as I traced his back. My eyes were wide open, feigning to ignore the voice as they skimmed across the room, denying who could have said that. I tried to calm my racing heart by focusing on the gentle sweeps of his hand over my head. Felicitor, a voice purred near my left ear. I gasped when I felt a jagged branch penetrate my bosom from behind. I howled in pain and leaned back, expecting his comforting chocolate brown eyes, but instead. Weakened, soulless one stared back. Did I mention that I have never come across Latin? Yet I somehow understand the whispers.